What's a top 10 bet that you do like this week? A top 10 bet. Yeah, let's go right there. I mean, you know, you, you look at obviously the NASCAR, the odds. I mean, we're not getting like huge odds to take top 10 on a lot of the top players, but I think you can look down, look at a guy like Ross Chastain at minus 110. I mean, he's he's driven really well uh, to start the year. I mean, last week overcame a 17th place start uh, to battle for the lead at the end of the race. I think he ultimately finished second last week. So, uh, or maybe that was two weeks ago. Anyways, this guy's driven really well to start the year. And I think Chastain is a player or a, a driver, excuse me, just got golf on Hayes, he's like a player. At minus 110, uh, he, he should be live for a top 10 here. He's driven really well to start the year and you're getting decent odds on him a lot better than a, a lot of the other top drivers. So. A player, a driver, same difference, Pierce. Top 10 bet you like. So Jeff picked up on something. The odds are kind of strange this week, and that's because no one knows what to expect in this race. They repaved the track. They put in new banking. It's completely different. This could be a plate race, kind of like Daytona or Talladega, where we see a bunch of wrecks and these underdogs come through with the top 10. And if that's the case, then I like David Reagan at plus 700 to get a top 10. You've got Corey LaJoy plus 350, Michael McDowell plus 150. Those guys are all really good plate racers. In a normal race, their odds for a top 10 should be much longer. But the sports books seem to think that this will be a plate track race. We'll know uh, Friday afternoon after practice if that's going to happen. But uh, you can lay these bets now.